Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Today, we're going to be discussing the Dark Wizards of times past. Now, when most people hear the term Dark Wizard, their mind likely jumps to one of two figures, Voldemort or Grindelwald. But what if I told you that, over the course of history, there were quite a few other dark figures responsible for conducting dark magic and or terrorizing the greater wizarding world? Today, we're going to dive in and take a look at some of these lesser known wizards, starting with the oldest. Given that for many of these wizards we only have approximate dates, I'll do my best to get the order right. Let's get into it. Ruxidian Ruxidian was a dark wizard who was said to have existed during an unknown period in time. It's only referred to as ancient. He was a very talented dark wizard who was fully immersed in the dark arts able to produce all sorts of evil concoctions and cast all sorts of sinister spells. But one thing that he always had trouble with was what we now know to be the Patronus charm. According to Harry Potter lore, Rexidian, who was massively magically talented, was simply not able to produce the Patronus charm properly because he was not pure of heart. Where a normal witch or wizard could expect to be introduced to their spirit animal when casting the spell for the first time, Rexidian was met with maggots. Not only that, but they were maggots that devoured him, engulfing his body. This is a testament to just how evil Rexidian was. He wasn't just not pure of heart, Rexidian's heart was black. He was pure evil. Herpa the Fowl Herpa the Fowl was an ancient dark wizard that hailed from Greece. It's entirely unknown when Herpa walked the earth, but we do know that it was a long, long time ago, as he is commonly referred to as one of the earliest known dark wizards. During his existence, Herpa devoted his life to producing and creating some of the worst kinds of magic imaginable, producing the first ever basilisk. Some speculate that Herpo is the distant ancestor of Salazar Slytherin, since he too could speak parcel tongue. Herpo was eventually immortalized on a chocolate frog card. Echrisdis Echrisdis isn't particularly well known, but he marked his place in wizarding history as a practitioner of the worst kinds of dark arts imaginable. The types of magic that he performed and experimented with made Voldemort's Horcrux creation look fairly commonplace. Acrisdus was alive during the 15th century, and he is the original inhabitant of the island fortress of Azkaban. While traveling one day, Acrisdus stumbled upon the island, which at the time had no infrastructure to speak of. When he first arrived, it was just a regular island, but he soon turned it into his own little dark arts experiment. After placing concealment charms on the island, Echristus began his dark arts experiments by luring muggle sailors to the island, then torturing and eventually murdering them. Before ever stepping foot on the island, Echristus was mad, but after spending some time there, he became totally insane as he completely lost touch with reality. He became so wrapped up and enthralled in his experimentation with dark magic that he had lost his mind, and the poor sailors that he brought to the island witnessed it firsthand. In his madness, it has been speculated that Acrisdis either unwittingly or perhaps intentionally created what we now know to be Dementors, which are the most evil creatures in the wizarding world. Merwin the Malicious Next up we have Merwin the Malicious, an evil pureblood wizard that existed in the medieval period sometime between the 5th and 15th centuries. During his lifetime, Merwin was a dedicated practitioner of the dark arts and would conduct all sorts of twisted magical experiments using his uniquely hooked wand. He had dark grey scabby looking skin, which sort of resembles lifeless human skin, and would often sport a long dark green cloak. He was a scary looking guy, and I have no doubt that the experiments he would conduct had a lasting effect on his physical appearance, as we know how dark magic can affect you in that way. Merwin was single-handedly responsible for creating a lot of the dark spells, jinxes, and hexes that sprang up out of the medieval era, and after his death, made it onto a chocolate frog card. Salazar Slytherin Salazar Slytherin, whose name you should probably recognize, was a pureblood wizard that was born sometime before 976 AD. Famously, or rather infamously, he founded Slytherin House at Hogwarts. Slytherin is also infamous for his disliking of muggle-born students, and was a strong proponent of having only pureblood students at Hogwarts. This philosophy was ultimately passed on to other Slytherins. His response to muggle-born students attending the school was to build the Chamber of Secrets, which concealed a basilisk that was intended to purge the school of these students. Emmerich the Evil The first official known historical owner of the Elder Wand is a wizard who went by the name of Emmerich the Evil. 
Though the wand may have been in the hands of other wizards before Emmerich and after Antioch, Emmerich is the first wizard on record to have possessed it. Emmerich has been described as a short-lived but exceptionally aggressive wizard that terrorised the south of England in the early middle ages. Godelo Godelo was one of the named and known owners of the Elder Wand before it came into the possession of the likes of Grigorovich, Grindelwald, Dumbledore, etc. If his name sounds doubly familiar to you, it may be because Godelo wrote the famous dark magic textbook, Magique Most Evil, a book containing information on dark magic, including a passing reference to Horcruxes in its introduction. Godelo used the Elder Wand to push the boundaries of magic, and considered it to be his teacher, allowing the wand to help him write the book. Leveraging the powerful wand and using it in accordance with his dark mindset, Godelo ultimately created a lot of dark spells and curses. Godelo was eventually killed by his own son, who locked him in the cellar in order to gain ownership of the Elder Wand. Morgana Le Fay Morgana Le Fay is actually a pseudo-historical figure, and in many versions of folklore she is the nemesis of the powerful wizard Merlin, though not all of them. Morgana, however, also exists in Harry Potter folklore, where she is portrayed as an extremely evil witch, and again the nemesis of Merlin who went to Hogwarts. Morgana is considered by many to be the most powerful witch of all time, and someone that truly hated every aspect of goodness in the world, doing everything she could do to fight against it. Gorm Le Gaunt Gorm Le Gaunt was an Irish pure-blood dark witch and the aunt of his old Sarah, who founded Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Gormla, who attended Hogwarts herself and was sorted into, you guessed it, Southern, strongly believed in pure blood supremacy and had an intense hatred for anyone that went against these extreme views. Her hatred went so deep that she murdered her own sister and brother in law. She also shared something in common with Voldemort she had an inability to feel love. Gormla may not have caused widespread turmoil in the wizarding world, but she certainly terrorized her family. Barnabas Deverell Another previous owner of the Elder Wand, Barnabas Deverell was a wizard from the early 18th century, who earned quite the reputation as a fearsome warlock. To put things plainly, Deverell certainly didn't use the wand for good, and for many years he leveraged the powerful wand to tyrannize the wizarding world. However, eventually his reign of terror ended when he was defeated by a rival wizard, Loxius. And here we have yet another previous owner of the Elder Wand. Loxius is the man who famously gave the Elder Wand the name the Death Stick and ruthlessly murdered copious amounts of people while using it. Loxius was a truly evil dark wizard that many wanted dead, and according to Dumbledore, many claimed to have been the one to finish him off, even his own mother. And that's it for this video. If you want more info on these evil wizards, then please leave a comment down below. Also, if you enjoy the content, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, remember, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live.